Hey, 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 this is the boat doctor. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, out here, Butte. Now, this is a fishing machine. Uh, rumor had that they're not going to make this model, which I think is a big mistake. Uh, you'll see as I get to the back of the boat, you got an open array for Uno NXT. Got the bar light up front. If it was me, I would run another one up there. It'd probably be blocking that one now, or maybe a couple side lights because you lose a lot of light when they're there. That's just a little tidbit for you. And if you notice, you got this flat area here and this curves like this. That helps keep that water, when it hits, goes like this and shoots it out instead of inside and then in your boat. And these got like this rub rail, rub rail. Then you got these bends. The more bends you got, the stronger they are. And you got G3 tubing, one, two, three. And you got this heavy reverse all the way back that tilts like this. This creates an air pocket, so when you're coming down, it slows the boat instead of BAM! Real hard, it's got straights. Got the good anchor nest. This part that tilts down, you don't think much of that. And this here lock, it's like plow anchor. So that keeps us up nice and tight instead of wiggling around on you. Plus this will drop at an angle instead of you have, having to help pull it down. Got a two-speed jack, heavy duty. Top mount coupler, 2516 shims ball. Brake fluid I checks underneath the cap. Round seven, heavy duty chains. Foot jack I like, spare tire. Keel roller, again, the boat can touch it, but you don't want to depend on that for the weight of the boat or you just rip them rollers out real quick. You got four four by four slicks, or bunks with slicks. You got, so, even the windows, if you see how they, you got your flat forward leaning window. You got your curved side windows, you got your windows there, small, they're not huge, so you can have them open without getting a lot of wind and water in there. I uh, got your good load guides, your space just about right. Uh, this part to here, I better write down. You need to straighten that out, I think. Unless they made it that way for a reason. I'll look at the other side. Gear bath oil hubs, and these are like six lugs, so these are the heavy duty ST 225-75R15s. Nitrous, that's a green cap, so you can put regular air, doesn't hurt them. There's your gas vent, ladder, underwater lights on the trim tabs. Uh, that will work, because uh, you really probably won't use the trim tabs a heck of a lot, but you can trim them that way, get different angles. So it's kind of a good idea. Most of the time we mount, mount them flat. And then you got your drain plugs there. And then you got a set of twins, a smart choice here. Uh, going to the 200s, the 150s, yeah, they work, uh, especially on this boat. But the 200s got that horsepower that kicks in at 2200 versus 44 to 4800. So these got just torque at all range. They're 14 by 15 stainless. And as you can see, it cups here to the left. They're sharp. That's what you want. The sharper, the, the more they cut. Um, and that's the left hand. And they curve to the right. That's the right hand. And this is made for single R twins at one kilowatt. That will reach and touch somebody. Nice space. You don't need all this fa fancy stuff like down scan, side scan, all that. That's what you're using. That sucker will reach down and touch somebody. Okay, you got gas filled there. Put 50 gallons of non ethanol. These are adjustable. And gear bath oil hubs. They're brown. That's good. If they're white, they're bad. Evidently, they made this for this. Maybe water splash or something is why they flared that up. But here's what I like about this boat. You got the good 5225 XT. Your VHF's all about the radio, or not the radio, but the antenna. If you got a, you have an $800 VHF radio, and if you got a $50 antenna, you got a $50 radio. You could buy a $100 radio and get a good antenna like this one, 200, 300 bucks, but you got an $800 radio then. Grab rails, got tons of rocket launchers. But what I like about this, this is a 25 foot ultra cab, but my God, look at the kitchen room. Huh? See, you got red of the bulkhead, but you can still put six people dry. You got a backdrop. In our area, a lot of people don't even use the backdrops. So look at all that deck area you picked up. Now you go to the, the cab, super cab, and you add on another two feet at least. Uh, just for the bathroom, the dinette, and all that. So if you want a fishing machine, here you go. Now, if you ever did want to go to a rear deck steering on this boat, it can be done. It ain't going to look like, you know, you had a bulkhead. You can put just a stand-up right there or a side steering wheel or one up on top. So it can be done. 
And so, but with this boat where everything's open, yeah, there's really no need of that. If, especially if you got two guys with you, two to three guys, you, you know, you can have one drive, the rest of them can do it. But if you like to be out back, like I say, it can be done. It's just, it just doesn't look as good as what it would if it had a bulkhead. Okay, so we looked around, there was a little scratch there. I think I seen a little scratch. Gear bath oil hubs are good there. That's just a little smudge. Looks good, looks good. Now we'll get inside in this 19 degree, 99 gallon tank. The ladder's over here. But God, look at how wide, I mean, really. Ultra cab, wow. And cleats where they need them, one there, one there, one there. Now they finally listened. But if I was suggesting you guys, I wouldn't quit this model. Because, I mean, look at all that. Got some scratches down there on the side. Battery charger. High downs. Big ass cooler seats. Flip downs. Flip downs, so it's easy six. Got the rubber mat floor. Wash down. Got bait box. Yep. Look at cup holders, man, tackle holders, rod holders. But back here, build pumps. There's your fuel filter. Batteries, look at that. Three batteries. Wow, it still has room. That's a problem with a lot of boats. You just don't have no room for your batteries. There's your other build pump, live well. Make sure your gas valves turn on. Which it, it, these are a bugger. There we go, I think it's turned on. Whew. Oh, those are hard. And this here is to shut the water off to this, because if you have this like this, if you turn it like this, it's not gonna let water get into here. But if you have this thing open, then water can just force in there by itself. So you can either use and you want to pull the drain plug too so water gets out unless you want to use it for dry storage and that shuts off the water wow look at the room open this up the storage same thing over there then whatever you do there's a plug right there always put that plug in that's the most important plug I mean, yeah, so what if it, say, uh, this just got a pump out right here, plus the plug. So this is the way they should make them, just like this. So say you didn't want to, say you had water for some reason, you didn't have this plug in. So if you had these two plugs in, you're pretty safe. But if you say you took that plug out, that plug out, that plug out, that plug out up front, then water, for some reason, if you forgot the plug on the outside, Water's gonna fill up here, gonna fill up there, gonna fill up there, gonna overflow. Granted, the boat ain't gonna sink, but got a lot of water. But what's nice on this one with this, I can pump that out. Or some of these, they didn't have that. They just had the drain plug that went right out the bottom of the boat. So basically, you would have to get the boat out of the water or carry a sub pump with you. But this is taken care of, so you don't have to worry about that. So smart move. Look at, huh? So see all that water? I'd have to take that plug out there to get the water out here, but I'd take most of the water first, get it out there. Then I'd take this one out, get it out there. This here goes in between there. Then you got thigh right seats, cup holders, trim moldings, wipers, fans, stereo, light, bar light, VHF, built-in compass, key switch Maxwell, dual binnacle, and these are cable. And here's all your switches, water pumping, I'll show you all this, bilge pump. Uh, deck lights, lights, wipers, wipers, deck wash, bait, bait pump. There, anchor lights, cabin lights, bilge, bilge, 
and waist pump. And this looks like it may have a this uh, may have a porta pot. Now this plug is what if he washes and got water would go into here. Then you take that plug out to go into there. Then you take that plug and it'll go out to there. Our, and this is in the water. Then you hit the pump and it'll pump all that water out. Then you put the plugs back in again. Or you can bring them back, take all the plugs out, tilt it up like it is now, and just let it go out manually instead of running your pump that long. You got a light up front, which I presume it works. I don't have the battery on. Toilet paper. Here's your box for your electronics. And these you just flip down like this and this flips down. You put that cushion right there and that makes a bed. So grab rail. This with these lights. You open this up. That light lights that up at night. Then you see a big ass out in the water. They see it. You probably don't. So let's see, backrests, like I said, grab rail, but God, what a fishing machine. Pop this up, pop this up. You can walk right through, boom, right back to your controls. But look at all the room you got in here. Wow. See, this is what I'd have, because the 25 is real good, the ultra cabs uh, that had the bulkheads. But if you're going out tuna fishing or halibut fishing, this is the ticket, the bomb diggity. All right, this is Boat Doctor. See you on the water. I gotta set up the electronics, and which I better cross my fingers should be pretty basic. All right, Boat Doctor out.